Hey guys, how we doing? So I'm out here at one of my sites that I've been coming to for years. I mean, five or six years. Uh, the only, you know, I ran into some wild dogs out here a couple of years ago, but generally I've never seen a hair nor sign of anybody. And uh, I'm right here at one of the main sites and there's just, uh, it looked like one guy was in here. Some of these footprints are my footprints, but one guy and a dog was in here and as you can see this site like there's just pieces of flint you know every six inches or so you got a lot of flint um so yeah he was out here hunting digging around and he like left little trail markers you know which i immediately immediately destroyed but people are are super strange um you know Whatever, hopefully it was just kind of a one-time thing for him. Because like I said, this is this is just one of my favorite spots. It's, you know, it's super, uh, yeah, I've, I've, never, I, I, I've never seen a sign or just a trace of anybody out here. So, anyways. Yeah, so this is uh, the general area where I found that big bifaced uh, paleo point. It's one of the last uh, short videos I posted of uh, picking up a projectile. It was really interesting. I mean, I was coming down like just like this and it was laying, you know, on a ledge and you could see how the water had washed from beneath it, but was still just stuck and it's, you know, the place had been stuck for probably a thousand years or so but was receiving sunlight on the one side and then on the other uh you know it, it was uh it had that dark earth fade to it so i'm gonna look around in here and see if i can't get lucky um i've already put in a few miles so kind of thinking about lunch and whatnot but um yeah you can see how the earth has been cut away in this uh, creek bed and uh you know you have these little kind of tops here and it makes it perfect for finding um, artifacts yeah so this is right around the general area and um that is a moment i would love to repeat again but i don't I don't think I'm gonna do any time soon. All right. All right, y'all, I uh, found a projectile, not the kind that we're looking for, but have a look at this. Can you imagine if you got hit with that thing? Like, get a load of that. I can't tell you how much it weighs in my hand, I don't, I guess that's a, a slug from a uh, from a 12 gauge or a 20 gauge. You can see it has the um, the uh, grooves on the sides, so it it seems fairly modern. You know what I mean? Like I don't, but it looks old. I think, uh, yeah. Quite a slug. All right. All right, guys. I found another uh, projectile. Not the kind that we're looking for, but just kind of interesting all the same. This was a hollow point, and uh, I guess it tumbled. It never struck the tip, right? So, yeah. It's always... Um, let's see, I, 
Looks like a uh, looks like maybe a 270 or a 243. It's pretty interesting though. All right, guys, kind of an uneventful day out here filming. It generally goes that way when you're filming. Um, except for the guy who came through here and left little trail markers everywhere. Uh, those people who come out and stack three rocks on top of each other are a special kind of people. And I, I truly believe that those folks are, are kind of lost and don't really know what they're looking for because... If you're in pursuit of something, I mean, guys, f fishermen and hunters and all kinds of other, like, I don't want to say too much, but gem seekers, like, you just don't want to, you want things to look bland. And it's, I mean, you know where, where it's at. I don't, I, I can think of just so many special places for me, whether it's in terms of hunting, fishing, or hiking. And I don't, uh, you know, I don't think putting little, uh, little, uh, stone uh, hinges up to to mark oh I've been here or something like that anyways this is the first time I've ever complained about it I've seen other people get pretty agitated about it but today to come to this special spot I've been coming out here five six years never seen anybody out here ran into some wild dogs one time got them to to leave it was funny the next time I came out I saw the same wild dogs within 25 yards of me but somehow they didn't they didn't pick me up or maybe they smelt me. They just didn't feel like messing with me. But it was other than those two episodes. I mean, this has just been an amazing place to come out, cut loose, uh, not see any trash and, um, you know, find some find some uh, ancient stuff. And uh, guys, this right here, you know, these are this is obsidian. It's like uh, it almost looks like black glass. I mean, it, that's pretty much what it is, but I don't know how well you guys can see it, but where I found th these pieces, you know, years ago, I remember I, I was coming through that spot and I stopped and there's just this perfect, beautiful, black obsidian arrowhead with notches and flaking and just sharp as could be. And, uh, you know, now when I, I look through some of the videos, like that video from last summer of the by, by faced paleo blade that I found on the little tuff of dirt I mean it pays to kind of video those things because you just don't know what they mean until until later on so if you haven't seen that video please go check it out um, like I said when I picked that thing up I, I really in that moment I can tell you I, I was I didn't feel very deserving of it and now it's it's you know it's it's very special to me so yeah uh, a lot of good stuff out there in the world uh try to keep it a secret um there's a lot of uh unoriginal, unoriginal folks out there so all right guys hunter x angler i'll catch you on the next one thanks for tuning in